Hello and welcome. So this video, in this video, I'm going to share a small mini project that I made in this weekend. And I want to share this project and basically the I want to share the source code of this project with you. So just make sure to subscribe my channel and connect with me. And yeah, that's all I wanted. And you can find the source code of this project in the comment section or in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, so and feel free to contribute on the GitHub for this project. And currently, this project doesn't have any uh, database things. So basically, all the data is managing using a dictionary in the list, or we can say objects and uh, array in JavaScript. So, so first, let me start the project. And this is basically just a mini mini project. Okay. So I just run my server, and hopefully, it will work. So let me tell you about something about the project. So this is basically most of the companies use like a software and or application platform where they can manage their assets like a laptop and laptop charger and desktop etc. So this is all about that. So you can see in the name of this project like a AMS like an asset management system and there's a ad, I I did one headline over there like a one application that keep tracks of your organization assets okay so this is basically don't have user things so basically this admin the only, only one entity can use to manage the things so basically it is authenticated with the using uh, admin username and password so that thing uh, we need to give these uh, two credentials to the admin to access this page okay so let me enter the username Password for the admin. Mm, okay, just click on login. And once you click on login, you have like this. Okay, let me zoom. Okay, so you can see like a set menu system. There's uh, some lack of responsiveness. So basically, I'm not very good in CSS. Okay, so so yeah, let me push to the hundred. Okay. So this is like a AMS asset management system. Here we can see all the system distributed to the employees. So we can say developers. Like a total 89 is distributed and three in stock. Okay. So basically the count is mismatch. Okay, I will fix it. No worries. So three should be upside and uh, yes. Okay, let me give uh, just me give me a minute. Just fixing it. Okay. <laughs> change the name it should be like uh, systems in stock and this should be hmm, systems distributed okay Okay, as you can as you can see I just refresh the page and this is okay so currently we have three system in our stock and we three system has been dis distributed among these three developers okay so suppose I want to add a new entry suppose a new developer come I assign one system to them so uh, just enter the employee ID for the particular developer okay so it will be like a 7822 and the name for that uh, particular uh, developer is it can be anything like okay like a sugar my ad okay and uh, device detail like uh, Mac and then it's M1 and 16 256 TV okay so at the moment I click on enter uh, number will change just click on confirm and you can see now we have only 88 system in our stock and four system has been distributed and you also see a notification that come on the upper side of this page okay let me add one more entry so it can be like uh, 2199 and the name is like a Siri Siri also there so it doesn't matter Siri Apple is the name of the user and the device is like a Dell Dell SQL 
3529. Okay. And the processor is the A9 11 15. Okay. And the 16 512 configuration. Okay. And at the moment I click on the confirm, there will be a notification on the right side of this page. You can see the entry has been added successfully. Okay. Okay, so we have total five distributor system. We have 87 in the stock. Okay, and it won't uh, add new system. It won't assign new, uh, new system to particular employer if we have zero in stock. I added that check over there. Okay, so suppose I want to add, I just, I try to add the empty entry, entries there. Okay. At, at the moment I click on confirm, there will be a notification like, uh, please fill all entries. Okay. So it won't come like like this, okay. So for that, I have to add things like okay. So if we, I did not add any entries over there, so it will not take anything. Is okay. Let's just, just click on confirm, and you can see entry has been added. The count will change, okay. So we can also update the entry like uh, I. I put the random name over there so the next name like I want to put here any name you can put like uh, okay Oshika okay okay so 16 and of 512 GB 511 so click on confirm you can see the entry has been updated the other thing is same okay so these this is a small application basically based on the card operation and when you click on the back button and if you try to again go to the dashboard thing so it, it says that your session has been expired please log in again okay just click here and you will you need to log in again and you will get the page yeah this is okay so yeah you can find the whole source code of this small project in, in the description of this video. Thank you. Bye.